Be in good company, unraveling the phrase. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase that you might have heard or even used yourself. Be in good company. This expression is rich in meaning and understanding it can add depth to your English communication. So, let's explore together what it means, its origins, and how you can use it in your everyday conversations. Be in good company is a phrase that means to be in the same situation or position as other respected or well-regarded people. It's often used to offer comfort or reassurance, suggesting that if you have made a mistake or are experiencing a particular situation, you're not alone. Others, whom you respect or admire, have been in the same position. For example, if someone fails an important test and feels disheartened, telling them they are in good company might remind them that many successful people have faced similar setbacks. While the exact origin of be in good company is difficult to pin down, the concept has been around for centuries. It ties back to the idea of company as not just being with others but being among people of good reputation or standing. Historically, being seen in the company of respected individuals was a sign of one's own status and respectability. Over time, the phrase has evolved to encompass the notion of shared experiences, especially those that are challenging or character building, beyond just the social or hierarchical implications. Incorporating be in good company into your language is a great way to express empathy or solidarity. Here are a few examples of how you can use it. To comfort someone, I heard you didn't get the job you wanted. But remember, many great people faced rejection before their big break. You're in good company. To normalize failure, every entrepreneur fails at some point. If you faced a setback, you're in good company. To share an experience, feeling nervous about this presentation? We all are. We're in good company. Using the phrase, be in good company, goes beyond mere words. It taps into the power of shared human experiences. It reminds us that failure, struggle, and uncertainty are universal experiences that connect us. By acknowledging that others, especially those we respect, have faced similar challenges, we can find comfort and motivation to persevere. Thank you for watching today's video on the phrase, be in good company. We hope this exploration has not only helped you understand its meaning and origins but also how you can use it to enrich your English communication. Remember, facing challenges or setbacks is a part of life, and when you do, you're in good company. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the English language. See you in the next video.